from Freedom Vans. Welcome back to our channel. Today I am showing you a Mercedes Sprinter 144 four-wheel drive. What's nice about the 144 is they're the shorter wheelbase, so they're a little bit easier to maneuver and park, but we have lots of stuff in this one um, that I'm really excited to show you. The 144 has about 10 and a half feet of floor space, and in that 10 and a half feet, we were able to fit a queen-sized bed, a kitchen galley, a dinette, a shower, although modular, and a composting toilet. In this video, I might be a little bit short of breath. Please forgive me. I am officially 31 weeks pregnant, almost eight months, and we are about two months away from um, having a little baby. I will only be doing a couple more of these videos and then we are going to pass the torch off to someone else for a couple of months. And I'd love to hear from you who you would like to see. Would you like to see our designer, uh, one of our builders? Any other ideas? <laughs> those, those are our best ideas right now. Um, but we'd love to introduce you to a new tour guide for a few videos. Let's go ahead and get this video started with the garage space. In the garage space, we have a lot going on this time. We have their water system, power system, and a split type AC unit. The split type AC unit does require a bit of space. Half of the unit, the condenser, is mounted underneath the van, and then the rest of the unit is inside of the van. We moved their spare tire to fit the condenser underneath the van, and that's why we have their spare tire mounted on their rear doors. For their water system, they have a 30 gallon water tank, they have an outdoor shower and fill, as well as a six gallon hot water heater. On the other side of the van is their power system. This build actually came to us in two phases, so right now we're just wrapping up the second phase of their project. In the first phase, we did do their power system. I believe it has 300 amp hours of lithium battery banks, but we'll put a little blurb with the actual amount. They also have a 3000 watt inverter, and the reason that we sized them up to a 3000 watt inverter is because they do have an induction cooktop inside. In the center of their van, they have a gear tray. They will eventually put bikes up here, but um, we're not sure of the mount sizes, so we put these shims to mount bike fork mounts to, and then they'll be able to store two bikes in here. Above the gear tray, they do have storage for skis as well, so we made these custom ski mounts for them to strap their skis in at a vertical in this space. Now that we've gone over the garage space, let's move on to the exterior of the van. On the driver's side rear door of the van, we have a tire carrier, which allowed us to move their spare tire from underneath the van and free up that space for their AC unit. Underneath the van, they decided to go with a electric step. And what's so great about this is that it goes up so that you have clearance when you're driving and then it comes down when you open up the doors. On this van, we went ahead and upgraded the wheels, tires, and suspension so that it'll handle better on the road. This van d does weigh in at about 8,000 pounds. And we went with the Toyo AT3 tires and some black Rhino Arsenal wheels. For the suspension, we did do the Stage 2.3 kit from Van Compass. That kit upgrades the front and rear shocks um, as well as adds some sumo springs. On the roof of the van, we have one of our custom roof racks, and that roof rack has a Fiamma awning, a light bar to help give the high beams some extra oomph out in the backcountry, and then it's built around a 72 cell solar panel, which I believe has 395 watts of solar, as well as a skylight and a fan. That's all for the exterior accessories on this van. Let's go ahead and show you the interior. Mm -hmm. 
This van was built for a very enthusiastic, sweet couple who plans to ski. They love skiing, so they're probably a little bit heartbroken not having their van during ski season right now while we do phase two, but it's going home to them just in time for a great spring ski season. A new feature that we added in this van during their first phase was electric floor heating. So underneath the laminate plank flooring, there are these 12 volt fabric pads that aren't enough to heat up the entire van, but enough to make it pretty cozy for your feet. And it was really sweet when they came back for phase two, they mentioned that when they took the skiing throughout the winter, they would have little picnics on the heated floors and it was just super cozy and comfy in here. So I cannot wait to hear how they use their van now that they have everything built out. On the sliding door of the van, we added these little hooks so that they can hang up their gear. Um, but they're flush mount, so when the door closes, they go ahead and close up and you can open the door. Um, so it's just a really good extra use of space. This was actually an idea from the owner of Apollo. He mentioned that it would be really cool to utilize this space for this, and then we were able to find these really nice flush mount hooks um, for this area. On the other side, the driver's side of the van, when you first walk in, you see their kitchen galley. We were able to fit a nice size kitchen galley into this space because they are going to be sleeping side to side. So there was just enough space for a pull-out drawer, a pretty large refrigerator, and then space for their gray water system. Underneath the sink, they have space for their gray water and some extra storage space. It will be a really great space for a trash can and some cleaning supplies. And then they also have a Y valve down here, which allows them to either drain their sink directly to the gray tank or directly to outside. In the kitchen galley, they have a, a nice sized um, square stainless steel sink beautiful little faucet and then on each side they have flip up countertops in the center of the van we have a lot of modular uses for this dinette space so we have a dinette where two people can face each other and have a nice meal sit and enjoy a cocktail or some coffee and then underneath this bench seat over here we have storage and then underneath this bench seat over here, we do have their composting toilet. This bench seat also has a seat belt so that their adult son can go with them on trips. And in the center, we have at their feet, we have their modular shower. And I'll go ahead and show you how to set that up in a second. This table also folds down and then they can have a bench seat here as well. And then behind the driver's side seat, they do have vents for their AC. So the AC really has a very central system that um, will pump cool air into this space to keep it cool. In the back of the van, we have their sleeping space. They have a lot of really great shelf space here too. They have a shelf right above their bed um, at the end of this overhead cabinet that has both an AC and a DC outlet. So it's a great little charging station right near their bed. And then over here we have an open shelf with some bungees to keep everything stored inside of there. Their bed is side to side. It's a queen sized width. This works really well for them because they're both under six feet. But if you're someone who likes more bed space or is taller than I would say like five foot 11, I would recommend adding the flare space body flares back here. In the 170, they're kind of small, but in the 144, they're actually really big and you get a lot of extra space. You can have up to six foot five of space side to side. Um, but this bed will be perfect for them and it just kept the build a little bit simpler in that aspect. Underneath the bed, they do have a door um, that gives them access to their garage space. Also, if they want to store anything that's accessible from the interior cabin in that garage space, they can access it via that door. 
These clients also wanted to make sure that their adult son would be able to sleep in here as well. So we do have hammock attachment points. And I mean, how fun is it in general to just hammock inside of your van, the doors open, um, and just enjoy some nice hangout time. We have a hammock attachment point in the very rear of the van and then one all the way in the front headliner cabinet of the van, which allows the hammock really to fully extend. For this video, we partnered up with Grand Trunk. They are a hammock and other outdoor gear company who has really great quality hammocks. They also have fun patterns. Each of us got to choose out our own hammock and the one that I have, we'll show you in this video, has the most beautiful pattern. I'm so excited to use it more often, especially as pregnant lady, being able to just hammock and relax is so nice. So I'm super grateful that they sent us these hammocks in time for this phase of my pregnancy. They did provide us with a 20% off coupon code for our followers that is in the description below. So make sure to go to their website and check out their hammocks and see if there's one for you. Over here, this raised floor that we have for the bench seats doubles as a modular shower for them. We can remove the floor, which gives them access to their shower pan. And then we have a shower curtain that clips up into the ceiling, as well as a shower head, which is a quick release design that clips in in the kitchen galley. Let's go ahead and show you the setup. The last feature that I'd like to talk about in this van is that they do have an electric skylight up here and it does come with both a screen and as well as a cover so they can stay nice and cozy in here. Thank you so much for taking a tour of this 144 Sprinter with me. It's pretty amazing that in a 144 we were able to create a space that seats and sleeps three people, as well as has a nice size kitchen, has a queen size bed, a great HVAC system, and storage for skis. Go ahead and let us know what you think in the comments. If you're new here, please feel free to like and subscribe. We'd love to see you again. Bye, thank you. Ultimate surprise. Stoked at these wheels. How <laughs> badass <laughs> this thing looks. Oh, okay. <laughs> they look worth the wait. Awesome. I can't believe this is ours. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh so gorgeous. Oh, my, God, oh, my so gosh. This is, we've got the feeling again where you want to take a picture. Oh, oh, yeah. No, this is so freaking beautiful. Neat. Holy hell. No, this is not even what I expected. Oh, my God, it's so Holy crap, that is gorgeous. Yay. Oh my god. Wow. The wool turned out amazing. so huh? neat. The wool is gorgeous. Everything, the colors and everything, everything came out. Wait, I gotta smell. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> the wood matching the leather poles and everything. This is like absolute perfection. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys got this whole stain that to is, match too. That's why I had to smell it. This is beautiful. Holy crap. This it's is so, so good. That Tom's arm stretcher. Yeah, yeah, you can. <laughs> that is so great. Oh my god. Guys, nice work, amazing. team. <laughs> good job, guys. Wow. These are 